Is it on? I don't know. Uh. Is this normally what you use for filming, Chris? It feels like it's going to burn my corneas. <laughs> I feel like it's going to burn your cornhole. <laughs> yeah, that and all. You can go up close to it, can you? Because I'm just look like a... What's that? Ghost? Do you ever watch Ghost? He helps her do the pottery, he gets behind her and goes... Yeah! He doesn't do that, it's more romantic than that. He doesn't give her a ghost shack. <laughs> he gives her a ghost throat. What is a ghost shack? <laughs> That's a new topic. Right, he slips it in. Let's... <laughs> Doesn't go all the way in. I think that's he cool. He just has a croak. I can't feel it anyway, he's not seen the film. He, he's the only one that can get anything out of it. I think that's called a stealth shag. Yeah. And Until then just... she, he goes in the body of Whoopi Goldberg and then she can do whatever she wants because she can move about. What, you think he's two women? Yeah. Have you ever seen the film? No! Yes! Yes! They oh, dear. Touching each other in all sorts. Oh. Bloody disgusting. Oh, wow. Well. Two women. It's fucking dirty. <laughs> that was fun. Find oh, a man. <laughs> What's different? What is different? We've got a new lion. Yeah. Yeah, we have. I've always wanted a good ring. Light. I think I'm going to get tan from this thing, Chris. It's so bright. Where are you going on holiday? Costa del Devon. So we got a new ring light and new ideas. Brand new ideas. Brand new content. That's what Thank we're going to be uh, yeah. That's what we're gonna be talking about. I've got a new hat. Yeah. A new cat cushion. We're in the cat crib. Kit Kat's checking out his box. Is that plugged in? Yeah. It'll be on there anyway. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, it's been um, a few weeks since we last did our about last... two years, Chris. It's been about two Has years. Has it been that long? It's been ages. Two years? Wow. Yeah, I shat on your sofa and you never invited me back. <laughs> And that's why now you are banished to the floor. Yeah. Now you're <laughs> I'm not allowed to sit on the sofa. On that floor. Yeah. You are not allowed on this sofa. My ass is allowed to shit on the floor though. <laughs> right, Chris's story time, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Right, so I'll tell you a story. Oh, so you know you all have those retail, you know, situations and stories about things that's happened while you're working. So I obviously used to work for Poundland, you know, top quality brand. I didn't know that, but Amazing. carry on. Amazing prices. Yeah. You know, the most annoying thing you can ask somebody that um, works at Poundland is... Um, this is a quid! How much is this? Aww. How much is this? I actually didn't do like, that though. Anyway, um, worked at a time for Poundland, eager employee, working my way up, assistant manager at the time. Basically, um, it was coming towards the end of the day, everything's, you know, everything's on time, everybody's got on with their jobs, everything that was set for the day has been done, we're ahead of time. I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm working for a promotion, you know, I'm making a real, real good impression of, you know, getting everything done in quick time and everybody out. It was a particularly challenging area in Exeter, so it was on the high street, and it's a little bit near the bus station, and you know what happens at the bus station. I know the one you mean. Yeah, so it's a bit ropey at times. Yeah, um, a lot of druggies around there. Yeah. And especially towards the end of the evening, so we're talking about half past seven, eight o'clock, this person coming in, they're acting really suspicious. I was obviously wandering around, checking on everybody and how everybody was getting on. This uh, lady, um, she was acting probably quite drunk, I would have said. I've seen many ladies when they've uh, had a few too many Jaeger bombs, you know, mm. um, quite partial to a few Jaeger bombs. She was really disorientated, she was wandering around the shop, just keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't hurt herself and hopefully she'll just sort of probably won't attempt to buy anything and wander out. She, she picked up right right in front of me, you know, this is full uniform, everything, right in front of me, picked up a, a pack of biscuits and she was sort of making a beeline to the front door and I'm thinking to myself, she ain't gonna pay for this. You know, you know when you have worked in a retail store for retail some time? Retail six cents, yeah. Right, six cents. And literally, you can always tell, nine times out of ten, when somebody walks in, you know, maybe not the way they look, because it's a little bit harsh sometimes, you know. Just I, the way they're acting, I, isn't it? I look quite ropey today, but just generally their whole persona. You, if I saw you in a shop, I'd be like, he's a bad one. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? He's and you just, you just keep an eye on that person. She was, she was looking like that, and she was making a beeline for the exit. And I'm thinking, you know, up and coming, deputy assistant manager, you know, I really want to make a good impression. She's not going to steal on my watch. Did you jump on her? No, no, I didn't do oh, anything okay. like that. Obviously she was going out, she was really drunk. Um, you know, she passed a point of no return. Kit Kat, all right? <laughs> Cheers. Um, she basically passed a point of no return. I was in front of her, I stopped her. I said, look, 
Um, obviously, you've got a pack of biscuits, you've stolen. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't taken anything. I said, you know, look, you're going to have to come back in store. And by this time, I've got a few other colleagues around me. You know, uh, you're going to have to pay for them. Or, you know, I'm going to have to call the police. Oh, I haven't got biscuits. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to pay for anything, and she was really drunk, slurring everything she was saying. So we take her into the security room, uh, and she goes, "Ah, oh, I need a toilet. I need a toilet." You know, it's a normal thing. You know, you catch somebody shoplifting, and they're like, you know, any sort of excuse. I need a toilet. I need a toilet. I said, "Does that work?" Yeah. Like, not that I'm gonna. No, no. Do I need, anything. No. Does that work? What? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "I need the toilet. I need the toilet." And I'm like, "No, you just stole." You're not going to the toilet, you're going to have to hold your wee or whatever, you're not going to the toilet. Because for simple fact is, it was basically two floors, and it wasn't the upper floor was the offices or anything like that, or on the same floor. The offices were down a really steep set of stairs, so I was thinking to myself, she's drunk, she, she ain't going to make it down those stairs. So if I let her go down the stairs, she's going to fall over, I'm going to be in, you know, all sorts of trouble. I want to make a good impression. I think I know where this story is going. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'll be a bit of a surprise. Okay. It's like, I really need a wee. I really, you know, I really need a toilet. Did a baby pop out? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just trying to guess what Okay. Not to that extreme. Okay. Um, or, you know, I don't think I'd ever be able to deliver a baby. Uh, you know, it's just... Well, you've got a catch, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. No. I can't do it. She's saying I really really need the toilet and I was like, no, you've just stolen, you're not going to the toilet. Tell me what you've got, you know, tell me, you know, what you've got on you, um, bring it out, pay for it, you know, or I'm calling the police. No, I haven't got anything, I haven't got anything. I didn't really want to sort of, you know, have to search her. Uh, she still wouldn't admit stealing anything. Uh, okay. And I said, look, right, I'm gonna have to call the police. Oh, I need to go to the toilet, I need to go to the toilet. I said, you're not going to the toilet. And no word of a lie, right? Are you ready for this? No yeah. word of a lie, she literally pulled down her trousers and shit on the floor. And I was look I was like this. I was like, what on earth am I gonna do? Well she told you, she warned you. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a wee. I thought like I thought it was a wee. You can hold a wee. You know, worst case scenario. She'd been on a piss though, hadn't she? Yeah, but <laughs> worst Ooh. case scenario. She didn't tell me she needed to go for a massive dump. <laughs> And she literally <laughs> took a dirty great big turd in this room and I'm like thinking, oh my god, one, you know, I've got to clean, clean that up, what on earth, <laughs> for a bloody pack of one pound biscuits. Chris, now, right. you're a manager, <laughs> won't you? Come on now, Did, were you the one that cleaned that up? No, no, no right, I'll tell you the number two. I said to her, <laughs> of course you I were. said to her, she was like, I, I need to go, I need to go. I said, you're not going anywhere now. You've just crapped on the floor. You need to clean that up. No word of a lie. She scooped it up with her hands. Is this true? <laughs> this isn't yeah. true. Yes, it is. She literally scooped it up with her hands. Put it just, in the bin? No, put it in her bag. She did not. She did. <laughs> That's disgusting. She scooped it up with her hands, put it in her bag. And then went like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrendous. What have I done? What have I done? So I just think to myself, of all the times you're, you're at work and you think to yourself, yeah, you know, it's clocking out time. You know, should I have turned a blind eye? I don't think I should have because I don't really agree with stealing. I'll probably, it's a pound. I'll, yeah, but stealing, stealing. And I probably did. She could right. have been really poor and just needed the food. No, no, she had a she she had a few lagers. She could afford a few lagers, so. Well, anyway. no, but somebody else might have bought the lagers. Don't for make her. me feel guilty for well, her crapping on the because... floor. Don't make me feel guilty for her she was, taking a she massive. She was malnourished. Dump. She 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 couldn't you know afford decent food. <laughs> that was giving her the runs, bless oh, her. My Lord. She needed to go to the what toilet. Is this? You wouldn't let her go to the toilet. I'm I'm on the side of this woman. I'm on the side of the piss out. <laughs> bless her. Anyway. You know, and she uh, felt so bad and so ashamed of herself, she had to scoop it up and put it in her bag. <laughs> she oh. literally scooped it up in her bag to her, look, you need to go. And I just let her go. I got the biscuits back, but I let her go. Take her shitty bag home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the story, folks. Um, you know. I thought you were going to do a moral to the story <laughs> next time, folks. <laughs> if you steal something and you need a shit. <laughs> Put Next time, back. if you catch a shoplifter, do a shit. Always do a shit before you do your robbing. <laughs> there you go. Get your shit out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing worse than having. <laughs> Next.
time. If you stop a shoplifter, <laughs> just for goodness sake, just ask them whether they need a number one or a number two. Because if it's number two, just just let them go. Just let them go. Yes. Let them go. It stunk. And everything out. she touched. Yeah, it she stunk out chair, the whole she? store. The next morning, I'm sort of, I'm going into work thinking, oh god, what, what's the manager going to say? What's the manager going to say? Oh my god, you know. By that time, all the staff have spoken and talked to the manager. I walked into the office and he said, Chris, if you're nice, then. I said, Chris, I heard you had a bit of a shit time last night. <laughs> <laughs> I think the moral is. Go to the toilet, then go do your thieving, you're all set. I'm talking to you, thieving people. Go for a poo and do your thieving. Welcome back to the Chris and Kaz show. No wait, I think I've got oh. cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> they get everywhere. What are we doing? Licking pussy. Yeah, I've been licking your cat. This last time I licked a bum off. <laughs> <laughs>